today I'm going to be trying to do another 10 minute craft dash or craft flash dash video. Now, um, I have my piece of cardstock here. This is just some Simon Says Stamp, 100, um, I believe 110 pound white cardstock. It's really thick and it's really good for your Copic marker coloring. So, um, for one layer card. So I'm going to try to do a one layer card today. I have that ready here. Now, um, I'm going to start the time right now. So the first thing I have here is the Sister Stamp Harumi Stamp from Sister Stamps. And I'm just inking it up in Memento Tuxedo Black. It's the best one you're going to want to do either Copic or Spectrum Noir coloring. Which um, I'm going to be doing Spectrum Noir coloring today. Now I'm just going to stamp that down um, using my Fisker stamp press and I'm just stamping it down you want to get very good even pressure to get the a nice image on your cardstock now um, I'm going to start off by using Spectrum um, FS3 which is a really nice skin tone I highly recommend this also because I am doing it Immediately after I stamp the image, I'm going to be a little bit careful about not going about over the black lines. It should be okay using Memento ink, but just in case I got like a little bit below this eye of black, you want to be a little bit careful because sometimes it can um, it can bleed a little bit if right after you stamped it. So that's FS6 for the blush. I'm going to go back with FS3 just to take in a little bit of the shading around the top of the head as well as going back in and darkening her skin on her hands. So that's the first thing that I have here. Then the next thing I'm going to go ahead oh yeah, also with the FS3 too. I'm just going to fill in her mouth here. Do maybe a few coats of that. Now, also, so I'm going to go ahead and these are my colors that I picked for my my um, hair colors. So um, this is actually the first time I'm ever going to be able to use my Spectrum Norris for coloring um, hair. So I'm just going to test it out. I'm going to try and see how this works using the brush tip and then how I'm going to like this. So, so far, it seems to work very well. This is the true black. I'm just doing this flickering from the bottom up. Right now, my minute's around two and a half minutes. So, I'm right now, I'm in the time frame. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. I might not as get as good shading as I usually do with my black hair, just because I'm trying to do this video pretty quickly. And again, trying to stay under 10 minutes. So I'm going to try and see if I can do that. It's going to be a little challenge, but I think I'm able to do it. I never practiced this video or anything, so to really just me winging it and hoping that I can be under the 10 minute mark. So I'm so let's just trying to kind of do it fast. It's, um, you don't have to really get really nice flickering because of the reason that it's not going to be really, um, important. So now, so that was the True Black. I'm going to take IG-8 now. And then, I'm so used to using the other side of the marker. So I'm just taking this IG-8. You're going to want to extend that color or that dark color out a little bit more so I'm extending that darker area out a little bit more and then also um, making sure that you always gonna want to leave white spaces in white hair I mean in black hair especially so I'm just making sure I'm doing that and then I'm gonna bring that color down to here and then again, do that flickering. I'm going to leave some white area as well down here. So, 
that's kind of doing good. Here's my time here. 4 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm kind of staying under right at this moment. I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit. And then... Wait a minute. Just going to go ahead and this is the IG4. I'm just going to now fill in some of those white spaces. Now this is, um, again, the first time I'm ever getting to color with the brush nibs of the Spectrum Noirs. So I'm not really used to how the brush nibs work yet. And I'm not very concerned about getting the best shading because I have to finish this card very quickly. Okay, so I did that. Now I'm going to go ahead and take... Um, I'm going to take that IG4 again and just color in the bottom of her shoes here. And that should be good. And then I'm going to take, as you see here, five minutes left. I'm kind of getting close now because I did want to kind of do kind of a lot to this image. I still want to get kind of good shading. This is um, BP7. Sorry, in a rush. <clears throat> so, um, you definitely can get um, really nice shading, even in a small amount of time. You're not going to get the most amazing shading that you might want, but it's a lot better. Um, you can still do it in a very quick amount of time. So that's all I'll use a BP7. I'm going to go ahead here and take BP4. And I'm going to try to blend that BP7 out as much as I can. And also get all those other um, shading areas. Because I'm going to go one shade later to BP3. But to do that, um, I'm going to try to get those shading lines as well where they should be. So now I'm at 6 minutes, almost 7 minutes, so I'm getting closer now. I have to be going a little bit faster. The bow, I do slightly want it to be slightly darker than the dress, so that's why I'm going over the entire thing with BP4. Now, going in with BP3, I'm just going to go ahead and take it and color the entire image now. And... Again, usually using three shades of colors is usually the way to go with Spectrum Noir coloring. It gives a nice depth of the dark as well as the night light areas. So, BP7 is kind of far color, so you are going to have to take a little bit more time trying to blend that color out. And then that seems to be good. It's pretty good. The shading and everything isn't perfect, but it's not um, horrible either. So, this is just, I'm going back in with IG4, just to get a little bit more depth to this hair here. And that's that, I'm at 8 minutes right now. I'm going to go ahead and take, um, sorry, IG2 here. And again, this, um, I'm not getting the perfect blending that you you might want it's just not gonna happen in this short amount of time but um, you definitely if you're gonna take longer you can definitely get a really nice look if you take your time and really um, really try to shade everything and blend everything especially with hair it usually does take a little bit longer to get that really nice, defined, nice look. Now, right here, I'm at 9 minutes. So, this is kind of my finished card, actually. Actually, sorry. I'm going to start it again. I'm going to add a few more things. I'm just taking this silver pen, and I'm going to make these dash marks. This was a second thought. Hopefully I can still be under 10 minutes. 
going to try to make it here. Okay, there. And then also, I'm going to take my corner chomper from We Are Memory Keepers and corner around these two corners. So, this is my finished card. And for 9 minutes and 41 seconds, this turned out really nice to me. I think it's pretty... It turned out pretty nice. Everything seemed to work pretty well. Now, every card is going to be different, especially when you're coloring hair. Every card is going to look a little bit different. This one, again, I did less time. And actually, for 9 minutes and 41 seconds, the hair, to me, is pretty good. Now, um, if, say, I took 5 minutes longer and took about 15 minutes, I could get a nice, a little bit more layered look onto the hair, as well as the shading maybe a little bit better, and um, maybe a little bit additional to this card. Okay, so I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please leave your comments below. Please tell me if you like this video as well as please give it a thumbs up if you really like this video. And have a great day. Please subscribe and have a great day. Bye.